Good day, everyone. I am Mayor Vidalion from Indang National High School. The title of my study is Reinforced Home Reading Remediation Program Addressing the Reading Level Gaps of Junior High School Students. According to Davis in 2014, we live in a world where we overflow with information, but reading is the main way to take advantage of it. In its continuous mission to make every child a reader, the Department of Education has been exhausting ways to dramatically strengthen reading instruction and remediation to effectively enhance reading levels of students, thereby resulting in their academic success. Hence, all schools are mandated to have a research-based and data-driven reading program to, access, to address such pressing academic concerns. In order to thrive in an increasingly dynamic, interconnected, and highly digitized society, junior high school students need to have emerged from the learning-to-read phase to the reading-to-learn dimension of their learning process. Failure to do so would entail reading gaps, which could result in frustration, both among teachers and students. Indeed, confident and proficient readers are deemed autonomous learners. Amid innumerable challenges brought about by the global health crisis, Reinforced Home Reading Remediation Program has been conducted in Indang National High School since there is a considerable number of incoming grade 7 frustrated readers in the last three consecutive school years. The program, anchored with DepEd's nationwide initiative, Hamon, Bawat Bata Bumabasa, aims to produce confident and proficient readers who can autonomously perform tasks which demand utmost understanding. In the absence of face-to-face -face interaction between teachers and reading remediation students, grade 7 students learning at home enjoy a considerable amount of academic free time every day, given that they themselves manage their time in accomplishing assigned learning tasks. The American Federation of Teachers in 2007 has it that young learners taught reading by their parents at home account for improved academic achievement. Participants of the study include 26 grade 7 students whose decoding and reading comprehension level fall under frustration based on the results of the Philippine Informal Reading Inventory or Phil Erie. To arrive at valuable research outcomes, purposive sampling has been employed in this study. It is a convenient and cost-effective sampling technique which allows the researcher to get the better out of a small population of interest. Additionally, purposive sampling allows for qualitative responses leading to better insights and more precise results. The following are the data gathering procedures employed in the study. Pre-activity, orientation of remedial teachers, endorsement of participants, and orientation of home learning facilitators. Under activity, utilization of guided teaching strategies in reading. For online distance learners, it has been done after their synchronous classes. Whereas, for modular distance learners, it has been done during their weekly kamustahan. For post-activity, we have administration of post-test. To further analyze data, paired sample t-test was utilized 
in order to determine the effect of the embedded guided teaching strategies in reading in the conduct of reinforced home reading remediation program. Paired sample t-test compares means where the two groups are correlated, such as data from the same participants before and after an intervention program. The following are the findings obtained from the current study. Table 1 shows the oral and silent reading pretest results. Oral reading pretest mean is 13.88, while silent reading pretest mean is 4.04. Table 2 highlights oral and silent reading post-test results. Oral reading post-test mean is 4.96, while silent reading post-test mean is 8.08. .08. The next table, 3.1, shows the comparative results of oral reading and t-test values. Based on the previously reported means for oral reading pre-test and post-test, we have arrived at the t-test value of 10.258 with 25 degrees of freedom and p-value of 0 0.000. The interpretation of such data is highly significant. The next table 3.2 shows the comparative results of silent reading and t-test values. Given the previously reported means for silent reading pre- and post-test, we have arrived at a t-test value of negative 10.456 with 25 as its degree of freedom and p-value of 0 0.000. The interpretation is still highly significant. Under implications, statistical findings from both oral and silent reading have revealed compelling results. Significance of these current findings advocates the value of reading scaffolding techniques as primary components of any reading remediation program. These findings are sound indicators in support of reading as an active activity rather than a passive exercise. To make the most of learners' reading experience, teachers and or home learning facilitators should make available at their disposal strategies to guide the latter toward improved reading ability level. In doing so, reading as an activity could likewise be regarded as potentially profitable since with increased reading level comes improved reading confidence as well. Supported by data in this study, it could therefore be ascertained that reading is one endeavor that necessitates home and community involvement. Consequently, a reading project which encourages the curation of a reading nook in every home could be launched under the initiative of the school reading coordinator. A community-based reading project anchored on Brigada Pagbasa could likewise be put forward to reach out to target learners who would significantly benefit from such endeavor. Ultimately, Capacitating home learning facilitators and other concerned volunteers on the use of guided reading strategies should be taken into account in designing any particular school and community-based reading program. Thank you and have a nice day everyone.